This is also where I keep my, oh. <laughs> Hello, hello, welcome to Vlogmas Day 5, I think. There's a hair in my mouth. <laughs> um, yeah, Vlogmas Day 5, I'm excited. Oh my god, it's back. I have too much hair. <laughs> um, okay, so today's video, I'm going to do a what is my park bag and then what's in my park bag video. Um, which I didn't think a lot of people would really care about, but this is one of the most highly requested videos that I ever get, or one of like the most highly requested, well yeah, I guess a video too, but just like random questions on Instagram, people ask me like, oh my god, your bag's so cute, like what is it? So here's the video to answer all the questions, and yeah, I'm excited to talk about it because I really love this bag so much. So for my what is my park bag, I have the Kavu rope bag. So it's like this brand right here. Not on my face, zoom up here, okay. So it's Kavu, K-A-V-U, um, rope bag. And it is just absolutely incredible. I could not recommend this bag anymore. Like, it is absolutely phenomenal. It's like so small, but holds so much stuff. Like, it's absolutely unreal. So, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about this bag before I go into like what is in my bag that I carry. But these bags, I've had this bag way before I moved to Disney. My friends, um, I would just get it like, I bought it, I don't remember when I bought it, but I would like take it to go hiking and like just like carry it around like random stuff, you know, whatever. Um, I didn't use it quite as frequently at home as I do here, but this has turned into like my number one bag that I use over any purse, any backpack, whatever. Like this is my number one. So you can buy this bag. Before I did this video, I like did research online so I could give you all like the good answers to like where you find this bag. So Kavu is a company and they make like all kinds of bags. They have tons of things and you can buy this like directly on their website on their website, it's $50. And I have the um, rope bag, but they also have the sling bag, which is like the exact same design, like 110% the exact same design, except it's polyester instead of canvas. So the sling bag is more waterproof, which I think is really cool, especially for Florida, because it does rain all the time. <laughs> Um, so that might be something to consider if you're wanting to purchase one of these bags, whether or not you want one that is polyester or canvas, just something to think about. But they have these bags in so many colors, so many designs, like so much fun. I am like, I personally am a neutral nut. Like everything in my closet is neutral. Like I don't do patterns, like unless it's like stripes <laughs> or my dinosaur shirt, which is you know, ridiculously tie-dye colored, <laughs> but dinosaur's worth it. Um, so I wanted, I wanted this bag. This one I think is called tobacco, like the color. Um, I just love this like neutral, very basic color, but they literally have crazy designs, like super fun everything. So there was literally one online that had raccoons on it. Like it was super cute. Um, so yeah, there's just like a lot to offer from these bags and they're just absolutely so incredible, I love them so much. So yeah, but if you don't wanna buy them, they go for $50 online at kavu.com. But there's also a lot of like other people that sell them. So places like Sierra Trading Post or Moose Jaw or REI, like a bunch of those like other, it's not like, it's not like cheap or like knockoff, like sketchy black market websites like they're established companies that I guess just get like overstock of these things I'm not really sure how it works but you can buy them there for a lot cheaper so for example I had just looked on moose jaw to see and they're 3746 on moose jaw whereas like on the actual coffee website they're $50 so there's a little bit of a difference and right now on moose jaw there is a denim one that is literally so cute it would be Totally adorable to patch, like put patches on. Like I almost want to buy another one except it's absolutely ridiculous because this one's in perfectly great shape, but the denim one is so cute. So 
if you all are really looking most of like the sierra trading post moose jaw rei places they have like less variety of things just because they get whatever they can um but so if you're like looking for a specific one that you really really want i would go to kavu but if you just like want one of the bags you don't really care what it looks like you're not as particular i would go to one of like the little like third party people um just because they're like 15 to 20 dollars cheaper there so just a thought but yeah so now i'm gonna get into what i actually carry in my park bag and sorry this This chair is squeaking. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna get into what I carry in this park bag and why I love it so much because it's so small but it holds so much stuff you wouldn't even believe it. Okay, so my number one favorite thing about this bag is this pocket right here. This little zippy pocket on the front. It's so amazing because I have the iPhone 8 Plus. So this is a super huge ginormous massive foam that's like the size of my head and it fits perfectly in this little pocket so you just slip it right in there zip it up and you don't have to go rummaging through the rest of your bag to find your phone it's literally just boom right there and it's so handy and most of the time this is my lanyard that I like carry everything in so I have like my blue ID my housing ID um, my driver's license, my debit card, my universal pass, like pretty much every bit of my life is in this little lanyard with like my work name tag. And so when you wrap it up like this, with my phone in there, like it also fits inside of here. So that, so you can see in there like my lanyard and my phone both fit in there and you can just zip it right up. So all of the like important things that you need are right there at the, like, so easy to find you don't have to go looking through everything else it's just super easy super convenient I love this pocket so much just makes everything really easy so then we have this little velcro section and this one I like because this is where I keep um, my magic band which is really nice um, just because it's like right before I get into the park I'll just pull it out of this little pocket right here scan it at the kiosk and then either put it back in my bag or just like leave it on my wrist whatever but it's just really easy access right there this is also a really good place to hold like these little like paper fast pass deals there we go so if you have like tons of those this one's expired sadly but if you have like any of these little paper fast passes they fit perfectly in there so that's really nice and this is also where I keep my oh <laughs> this is also where I keep my chapstick um, just because if you all don't know, I'm literally obsessed with chapstick. Like I have this inherent need to put it on my lips. I just love it so much. It's probably because, you know, the chapstick companies dry your lips out with the stuff in their chapstick. So you just keep using it. Whatever. I'm totally addicted and I don't care. But I love chapstick. So I keep it right there just because everything in this pocket is super easy access. So it's really nice. Um, and obviously you guys, I'm oh sorry, I'm shaking the table. Obviously you guys have seen me wear this in video, so you know basically how it works, but, so you just kind of like throw it over your shoulder like that. And then I guess you all have never seen it from the back. It just like sits on the back of your shoulder like this, kind of like across your body. I don't even know if y'all can see, but you see what I'm saying? It like goes across me. Yeah, you get me. Um, <laughs> So that's how that works on the back. It's really nice. It just kind of like sits along your back and it distributes the rate really, the weight really well. So it just feels really nice. And then also has this clip so you can like take it off like this um, or just, you know, pull it over your head, whatever. And this strap is like expandable so you can make it bigger. You can make it smaller, like, you know, like a normal thing, whatever. Um, but yeah, so it's just super nice. So we have two like main pockets that hold your stuff. One side is a lot smaller than the other. So that's where I keep things like I keep my hand sanitizer in there always. Um, I have another thing of chapstick. And then I also like keep whatever pins I'm trading at the time. Um, I keep those in here just because I love to trade pins. So um, it's always nice just to have pins on hand to trade. So I keep them in here. 
And this is where I most of the time keep my keys as well. Since there's less things on this side, it's a lot easier to find my keys at the end of the day. So I just throw them in there with everything else and it's totally fine. Um, so yeah, that's what I keep on that side. And then the best part, other than this pocket, about this bag is this giant pocket on the other side. It literally holds so much. So I'm just gonna show you. I have packed this bag right now with everything that I ever pack in this bag. Majority of the time, all of this stuff is not in here together, but I just wanted to pack it all in there so you all can see like how much this bag actually holds. So right now, I'm just gonna like open it up right here. So right now I have my entire rain jacket. So a whole rain jacket fits in here. And then I have my sunglasses in their little holder. And when I go to work, when this is like doubling as my work bag, I always have a pair of athletic shorts and a tank top that I wear underneath my costume because it kind of grosses me out to like think about the millions of people who have worn that costume before me. I know that I wash them, but I don't know, something about it just grosses me out. So I always wear these things underneath. I always have an extra pair of socks to take with me at work or when it rains, and then I change my socks just like in the park. A scrunchie to wear my hair back because your hair gets crazy after all those roller coasters. And then I have this giant water bottle in here. So like literally all that stuff packed in this just like one side of this bag. And this water bottle, if you can't see, like, I don't know why I feel the need to compare everything to my head, but like, this is a giant water bottle. So the fact that it fits in here, like comfortably is just insane. Um, so yeah, that's like, you can fit so much stuff in this bag. It's just absolutely incredible. And then when my water bottle is in here, I can't fit my camera in here just because they're both like hard, like they don't give any. Um, so usually it's my camera or my water bottle that is in there, but my camera also fits 110% completely, totally perfectly in here, and I love it. My camera actually even fits in the small pocket. Um, so it's just really nice, super handy to have this bag because it fits so much, especially for vlogging because you can just throw your camera in there and you don't even have to worry about it. It's so nice. Um, so yeah, so the way I usually do it, it's like if I'm deciding that I'm vlogging something, you literally just have it, flip it around, unzip it, pull your camera out, and then flip it back around. It's so easy, so simple. You don't have to do like anything, hardly. So yes, I love this bag so much. I had so highly requested by me. I couldn't like request anything more. This bag is just totally 110% absolutely incredible. And so just a quick rundown of things that I think are absolutely necessary in the park. Rain jacket, water bottle if it's a hot day outside or if you're gonna be at the park for a long time. If not, they obviously have the free water that you can get at most quick service places, so it's not that necessary. Um, my phone, my lanyard, always have hand sanitizer. Like, I'm not even a germaphobe, but when I think about everything that I'm touching that other people are also touching in Disney World, it literally gags me out so bad, and it like freaks me out. I'm like, little kids are like licking poles, and then you touch it. I don't know, like it's just gross. And like the handrails in rides, like those do not get sanitized once throughout the day. Like maybe they do it at the beginning of the day, but like not once during it because people are riding it all day. And like everybody and their mother are touching those things. Ugh. So hand sanitizer always. Um, something to hold your hair back. It's gonna be different for everyone what they feel is in like important to bring inside the park. But there's just like a little video for me. I know this is not like the most exciting video, but I don't know, I thought it was, I think it's good to have like informative, helpful videos too. So yeah, that's it from me. Yay Kavu, yay Disney, yay YouTube. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. I'm proud of myself. Like I've posted a video every day so far. Like I haven't missed anything. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. I really am so thankful for you all and everything that you do to support me. You guys have my heart and I love you so much. Um, so yeah, I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 6, whatever it may be, because I have no idea what it's gonna be yet. <laughs> Alrighty, so I'll see you all then. Bye! <laughs>